the London Dungeon, a popular and spine-chilling tourist attraction, has a rich history that began when it first opened its doors near London Bridge in 1974. Originally conceived as a museum of macabre history, the London Dungeon quickly evolved into an immersive and theatrical experience, offering visitors a chilling journey through some of the most infamous and dark chapters of London's past. Located in the vast underground vaults of the former London Bridge Station, the dungeon capitalised on its eerie subterranean setting to enhance the atmosphere of fear and suspense. The original intent of the London Dungeon was to present historical exhibits related to torture, crime and punishment, featuring authentic artefacts and wax figures that depicted the grisly methods of medieval justice. Early exhibits included graphic recreations of the Great Fire of London, the Black Death, and scenes from the notorious Newgate Prison. The concept of the dungeon evolved significantly over the years, driven by a growing demand for more interactive and engaging experiences. By the 1980s, the London Dungeon began incorporating live actors into its exhibits. These actors portrayed historical characters, such as the infamous executioner Jack Ketch, plague doctors, and even victims of the Black Death, bringing a new level of realism and horror to the attraction. The inclusion of live performances allowed for dynamic storytelling and interaction, making the experience more immersive and memorable for visitors. One of the most popular additions to the London Dungeon during its time at London Bridge was the recreation of the courtroom of the Old Bailey. Visitors would find themselves on trial, accused of various crimes, and subjected to the whims of the terrifying judge. This interactive element, along with other engaging exhibits like the Torture Chamber and the Labyrinth of the Lost, set the dungeon apart from traditional museums and positioned it as a pioneering force in experiential entertainment. Following on from these pictures of the original dungeon, we were invited down to the new location for a preview of the all-new dungeons in 2013 with pictures from inside rarely seen even to this day. The London Dungeon, a staple of macabre entertainment, moved to its new location on the south bank of the River Thames in 2013 after nearly four decades near London Bridge. This relocation marked a significant chapter in the history of the attraction, driven by the need for modernization and expansion. The move not only allowed the dungeon to refresh its existing exhibits, but also to introduce new, cutting-edge attractions, ensuring it remained a premier destination for those seeking thrills and a darkly humorous take on history. The decision to move the London Dungeon was multifaceted. Primarily, the original site at London Bridge had limitations in terms of space and infrastructure. The increasing number of visitors over the years had strained the capacity of the old location, which was housed in the cramped underground vaults of the former London Bridge station. The new site on the South Bank offered a larger, more versatile space that could better accommodate modern attractions and a higher volume of guests. Additionally, the South Bank location provided a strategic advantage in terms of visibility and accessibility. Situated near iconic landmarks like the London Eye and the Houses of Parliament, the new dungeon was poised to attract a broader audience, including tourists who might not venture to the less centrally located London Bridge area. The proximity to other major attractions created a synergistic effect, making it easier for visitors to include the dungeon in their itineraries. The move to the South Bank allowed for significant upgrades and the introduction of new features that were not feasible at the old site. The new dungeon, located in County Hall, benefits from modern facilities and an expansive layout, providing an enhanced visitor experience from start to finish. One of the most notable improvements is the incorporation of advanced technology and special effects. The new location boasts high-tech audio-visual systems, animatronics, and interactive elements that create a more immersive and engaging experience. Visitors can expect sophisticated 360-degree sets, realistic soundscapes, and atmospheric lighting that bring the dark history of London to life in vivid detail. The relocation also saw the introduction of new shows and the revamping of classic ones. Among the new attractions is the Tyrant Boat Ride, which takes visitors on a thrilling journey through the turbulent reign of Henry VIII. This ride combines physical motion with dramatic storytelling and special effects, providing a heart-pounding experience 
that delves into the notorious monarch's legacy of terror. Another addition is the Whitechapel Labyrinth, an immersive maze that plunges guests into the heart of Jack the Ripper's London. This attraction uses a combination of live actors, atmospheric sets, and disorienting pathways to recreate the fear and mystery that gripped Whitechapel during the Ripper's reign of terror. While new attractions were a highlight, the London Dungeon also brought back some of its classic shows, but with a fresh twist. The courtroom, the torture chamber, and the Great Fire of London were all updated with new sets, costumes, and effects to enhance their impact. Live actors continue to play a central role, bringing historical characters to life with a mix of horror and dark humor that has become the dungeon's trademark. From the moment visitors arrive at the new London Dungeon, they are immersed in an atmosphere of suspense and intrigue. The entrance, designed to resemble a medieval fortress, sets the tone for the journey ahead. Once inside, guests are greeted by costume staff and guided through a series of themed areas, each meticulously designed to reflect different periods of London's grisly past. The interactive nature of the attractions ensures that visitors are not mere spectators, but active participants in the unfolding drama. Whether standing trial in a recreation of the Old Bailey, being sentenced by a merciless judge, or navigating the haunted streets of Victorian London, guests are constantly engaged in the narrative. The use of live actors allows for spontaneous interaction, adding an element of unpredictability to the experience. The new location also features themed retail and dining options, enhancing the overall visitor experience. The gift shop offers a range of souvenirs, from horror-themed memorabilia to historical replicas, allowing guests to take a piece of the dungeon home with them. The Dungeon Tavern, styled after a traditional Victorian pub, provides a place for visitors to relax and enjoy refreshments in a fittingly atmospheric setting. Since its relocation, the London Dungeon has continued to be a popular attraction, drawing both tourists and locals with its unique blend of education and entertainment. The move to the South Bank has been widely regarded as a success, breathing new life into the attraction and ensuring its relevance in a competitive market. The enhanced facilities and new attractions have received positive reviews, with visitors praising the immersive environments, high-quality performances, and innovative use of technology. The dungeon's ability to balance historical accuracy with theatrical flair has solidified its reputation as a must-visit destination in London. Have you visited either version of the London Dungeons? Let us know in the comments below. Please enjoy the rest of the gallery.